Hong Kong's always, amongst other things, been known for its tailor-made suits. And I woke up this morning and I was like, but why? So anyways, today we're going to go meet up with one of Hong Kong's famous tailors and find out why. But first, got to smarten up a bit. That's more like it. Let's boogie. Roshan, can you tell us a bit about the uh, family business? My grandfather came to Hong Kong in 1952. He came from India and he worked in a tailor shop for about five years until he had saved up enough to make to open up his own shop and he called it Sam's Tailor. In 1957, he flew my grandmother, my father, my uncle and my aunt to Hong Kong. This is my father and uh, his two siblings. And my father and my uncle worked alongside my grandfather from a very young age and built Sam's Tailor into what it is today. Growing up, did you ever aspire to be a tailor or part of the family business? Well, I worked in the shop every Christmas, summer and Easter holiday between the age of 11 to 16. And I saw how dynamic the environment was. We had 20, 30, sometimes 40 new clients every single day. And everyone was generally visiting Hong Kong. So everyone had their own story to tell, everyone wanted to engage, wanted to share, or also wanted to learn. So it was just an awesome place to hang around whilst I was that young. And so it, always, it was always in the back of my mind that after I finished doing what I think I needed to do, that I would definitely come back and work in a super dynamic environment, which people underestimate. You've learned to be a, become a tailor, am I correct? Originally I did 21 years ago 21. when I first joined, but now I manage my business. Manage business. So I find it, it's best interest for my clients, for me to be overseeing the process and engaging with them, rather than to be in a workshop, just working on one item for one client that I don't see. Why has Hong Kong always been associated with uh, tailors and tailored suits? I think Hong Kong has been associated always for speed, reliability and dependability. So whatever product we serve up, you know, basically satisfies those three categories. And one of them is tailoring. How did uh, Tim Sa Choi become such a area where you can find tailors like at every street corner? I think my dad would be better set to give you an insight into the history of the development of tailoring in Tim Sa Choi. Tim Sa Choi was a famous for the bars, all the girly bars and the tailor shop. And there was a tourist attraction where the ships were used to come out from the ship. And they used to come from here. How did Sam's Tailor become such an institution? As well, it we is? started with a lot of the British people, British Army, Navy, and Air Force. We started the business with that, and then we got successful of making uniforms and everything. After that, our name became very with the, with the royal family sitting together. I understand you also made suits for David Bowie. Yeah. Who's the, uh, the most iconic individual you guys have uh, made a suit for? You know, I'm super blessed. Yeah. It'd be hard pressed to, to pick uh, one person, I guess the President of the United States. I mean, you can't get more iconic than that. I understand that you guys have uh, your own beer that yeah. you uh, serve sometimes at the tailor shop. It's delicious, I've had a few sips. I'm glad you like it. I'm always looking for constructive feedback no, it's... before version 2.0 comes out. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having me. This is an honor and pleasure. Awesome. I look forward to one day having a suit made by you. That one day is coming very soon.